Well, hello, Christian Academy. Dr. Shell here, and um, I just wanted to bring you a little message that we would have had sort of on a chapel day if we had been at chapel, and I, I sure miss seeing you guys. Um, so it looks like I'm here in the uh, the chapel, uh, sort of empty and sad and kind of lonely. I'm actually not there at all. Actually, I'm in my basement. I have a uh, a a a studio set up down here in my basement. Uh, my daughter is also a uh, elementary school teacher. My wife is also a, a teacher. So we have to take turns using our uh, production studio here to do all kinds of uh, live and uh, taped um, lessons for our students and for you guys there at um, Christian Academy for chapel. Um, you know, I miss you guys so much that I decided, I wonder if I could make them into Legos. Made a, a little chapel here. Here's our little chapel. There's uh, me up on the on the stage. And uh, just to let you guys know how much I missed you, I decided I'll just make you out of Lego so I can just sit there and look at you and think about you all day long. Which really brings me to the Bible passage I want to read today. This is from the book of Philippians. Um, the Apostle Paul wrote um, 13 letters. And those letters are all written to either pastors um, or churches, um, churches that he cared a lot about. Some of them he started, uh, some of them he just cared really deeply about, and he was worried about them, so he wrote them letters. Uh, sometimes he was actually in prison, but he wrote them letters because he wanted to make sure they were doing okay. Now, uh, some of those churches were having trouble, like the uh, church at Corinth. We have First and Second Corinthians because that poor church was having all kinds of trouble. So God, uh, Paul was trying to reach out to them to give them some help and tell them, guys, get it together. Philippians, um, the church at Philippi, uh, was, like I think, Paul's favorite. He just loved them. And uh, he wrote them just an encouraging letter because they were just doing so awesome. And in the first opening of this uh, book, I want to read you in chapter 1. This is, uh, Paul says, I thank God in all my remembrances of you, always offering prayer with joy in my every prayer for you all, in view of the your participation in the gospel from the day the first day until now, for I am confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Jesus Christ. So there's a couple things in here. First of all, Paul says, every time I think about you, I, I give thanks to God. It makes me, it brings me joy, and I thank God for you every day, every time I think of you. And um, and I want you to, to be like that. I, I know right now we sort of miss each other, and actually maybe some of the things you didn't even think you missed, things like recess or things like uh being there and having a, even a lesson right there in, in your classroom with your teacher and your friends. So we come to realize that we miss a lot of things that we really didn't think about that much. So I want you to know that uh, I think about you guys every day, and I pray for you. I pray for your families. I pray for our churches. And that I want you to know that the, the people that care about you, your teachers and the, the principals at, at, uh, at Christian Academy, um, your your Sunday school teachers, your pastors, the people that look after you uh, are really sad and they're missing you. And they're praying for you each and every day. And I need you to pray for the people that you think about, your friends, your neighbors, your teachers. Uh, think about your special area teachers, how much you love to go to art and PE and those things that you don't get to do. Uh, you're, they're thinking of you and praying for you. And I need you every time you think of them to pray for them and thank God that they are there for you and that they are, they give their lives to try to make you uh, a better person, smarter, and more like Christ. Now, the other part of this text says that Paul says, I am confident that he who has begun a good thing in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. And when he says, he's talking about God, he says, God has started something in you and God is going to make sure that it finishes it all the way to the end. 
And right now we might feel like, whoa, everything's on hold. I don't know what's going on. Uh, and everything seems kind of up in the air. But the good news is that God is saying to us, God started something with you, and he's going to make sure that he sees it all the way to the end. So it might be a little different. It might, this year might finish up a kind of weird and odd, but God is up to something. God has a plan, and God is going to see that his plan works out. The good news about that is that you get to be part of that. So you're staying home and washing your hands and being careful about not getting out and mixing with other people is a way that we participate in God's plan to make sure that people don't get sick who don't need to get sick. We can reach out to people by phone and, and conference calls and, and Zooming people and, 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 and FaceTiming people to connect with our grandparents and our friends and our neighbors to let people know we're thinking about them or caring about them and we pray for them. But God has begun something in our lives. And he wants we become Christians and followers of Christ. He's going to keep working on us and perfecting us. And even in difficult times, even in times when we might be a little afraid and anxious and uncertain, God said, I got a plan. I'm going to work it out until the day of Jesus Christ. Your new challenge for this week, if you choose to, if you want to do something creative with Lego, I want you to make something that you miss about being at school. Paul talks about how much he missed the Philippians and prayed for them. And I wonder, after having been uh, doing a homeschool, video school, uh, what do you miss about being at, actually being at Cal? So, uh, I'm going to challenge you to take make something out of Lego uh, that says that reminds you of what it is about school that you miss, and uh, send those to me. I'll put my email right here, uh, and I want you to email it to me, and I'll drop it into next week's uh, chapel talk. So, uh, what do you miss about being at school? And God bless you, and I miss you, and pray for you. Remember to wash your hands. Sing happy birthday twice, wash your hands.